Hey, thanks for joining us tonight at 10, everybody. I'm Hunter Hoagland. Nearly 500 students and staff in the Little Rock School District will stay home this week after they were asked to quarantine after being exposed to COVID-19. Parents are confused on how this whole quarantine process works. Our Jessica Rank joining us now in studio. Jessica, what are parents supposed to do? Yeah, Hunter, well, the CDC says typically you have to quarantine for 14 days after being exposed to the virus, but because the vaccine is available now, there are some exceptions to that rule. It was almost a perfect Sunday, and people were outside enjoying the weather. But for John Bodiak and his son, he's already asked what day it was. The day marked number four inside the house. I told him it was Sunday, and he said, can I go to kids' church? And I said, I'm sorry, no, you can't. Bodiak's four-year-old son will be staying home this week after being exposed to COVID-19. John got a letter from the Little Rock School District Thursday. He says with little guidance on what to do. It's been very frustrating not getting a clear answer on after 10 or 14 days, what, which is it? So let's break it down. If you're not vaccinated, the CDC says you have to quarantine for 14 days. But if you are vaccinated, you don't have to quarantine. But they do recommend getting a COVID test at least three days after exposure. If a child can show a negative COVID test result, they only have to quarantine for seven days. But if a child does not get tested and is not vaccinated, they go back to school after 10 days if they don't have any symptoms. We want to get him back to school as soon as we can. Bodiak is planning on getting his son tested Monday, but because he's so young, it's more difficult than you would think. Testing sites are limited. Bodiak will be staying home for the next few days, hoping at very least a negative test. 14 days is a long time. We'll get his son back in the classroom a little sooner. Now, Baptist Health's drive through does offer tests for kids as young as two, and Arkansas Children's also offers tests, but you have to get a letter from your primary care physician. And we couldn't find an age limit on that test, but we'll have all this information on our website, kark.com. Live in studio, I'm Jessica Rank. Back to you, Hunter. All right.